Hey friends, how's it going? I have a couple of things to say and a couple of issues that I have and I want to talk to you about them today. Number one is it's a new year. It's a new life. It's a whole new thing and it's the year to get organized, finally. Fortunately for me, Dawn from The Minimal Mom has put together this amazing get organized playlist for all of January. So if you want to go check it out and you want to see my videos that are part of it, I will leave that information hopefully down in the doobly-doo for you. So you can check out me and all of the other ladies that are taking part in January's, oh my gosh, let's get organized challenge, kick off to a new year, new goals, new experiences, and hopefully a lot less stuff in our house. Number two is, guess what? I have a new channel. <laughs> I know, it's a little crazy. I started a second channel that's going to be all about like, you know, the financial goals, payoffs, paying off my house, budgets, back end business side of how to do YouTube. All of that information will be on the other channel and I will not put it over here anymore. So if you wanna check that out, it's called Christine Unfiltered and I've got a link down below for you. And organization project number one for 2021 is going to be what you see behind me. <sighs> You may have recalled a few months ago, if you've been with me for a little while, that uh, this brand, Hisense, sent me this new refrigerator because they said my old one was very sad and they were right. However, it's got this like bottom freezer thing and I was worried things were gonna get lost and it was gonna turn chaotic and guess what? It's a self-fulfilling prophecy because that is what has happened. Come with me and let's take a look. Hey, can you see me? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, I'm so not happy about this. Um, yeah. Things just get lost. Uh, it's what I thought was gonna happen. It is what's happening. And then also my mom lives here too. And I open the drawer and I find weird things like kumquats. Why is this here? Couldn't say. My mom likes frozen dark cherries for her smoothies. So I found these in here as well. And I don't know what's underneath this stuff. So it makes sense to me to pull everything out and organize it with some really sweet bins that I picked up from Amazon. I did measure with a tape measure and then they showed up and I'm thinking these don't look right, but <laughs> we're gonna make it work people. Let's empty this sucker out and stack everything on the counter and see where we're at. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, maybe you wanna do that and give this video a like, it really helps me out. Um, you just gotta hit that little thumbs up button and it turns a different color. So tell me down below what color it turns for you. I've heard black, I've heard blue, I've heard red, huh? Let's clean the sucker out. Let me tell you about the one time I dropped the vanilla ice cream and it attacked me. Good times. Everything is out of the freezer and I'm a little embarrassed. But before we put all of that away and I show you the organization things, I just saw something else in my kitchen. You wanna see what it is? You see that box right there? I need to put that away. So let me go grab it. Boom, 
Yes, I need to put this away too. And oh, by the way, this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Let me tell you about it and then I'll show you what is in this box. A little mini haul as it were. So Thrive Market is basically an online subscription that can send you specialty foods, cleaning products, beauty products right to your house. And what I like about Thrive Market is first of all, they have a huge variety of diets you can pick from. You can even sort by, let's say you're keto or gluten-free or paleo or Whole30. You can sort by those things and see what items fall within that diet. You can sort by snack foods. You can sort by baking ingredients. You can sort by sauces. And lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Okay, not those last three, but I live in a very small town and it is extremely difficult to find specialty ingredients for certain diets or even just regular recipes a lot of the time. And so I love that I can go online, find the ingredients that I want, and then I don't have to put on pants and then they're shipped right to my door. It is a membership, so there are two ways you can do it. You can do a monthly membership, which I don't recommend because it's the more expensive one, or you can do an annual membership, which makes it only about $5 a month. And for every membership that is purchased by one of you guys, they give away a free membership to a family in need. I have always found things to be packed really, really nicely in here. And I got some really fun items for my pantry and just standard cooking this time. Let me show them to you really quick and then we will get back to the organization. Look how, look how nicely these pack. And then all of this, you can recycle. Chili garlic hot sauce. Recently, I made a dish with like coconut milk, lime juice, and like a spicy chili sauce. It was delicious. And so I made it a goal to make that sauce way more often. A couple of other things, I picked up this Arrowhead Mills Organic Buckwheat Pancake and Waffle Mix. We love to try different pancake and waffle mixes here at my house. I was excited to try this one out, see how my kids like it. Yes, you can totally make pancakes from scratch. I can't find buckwheat flour very easily, so this is gonna be fun. And because we're talking about baking, I wanted to try out the Kodiak, the Kodiak Cakes Blueberry Lemon Box Mix. I actually really like their muffin mixes, and if you saw my blueberry muffin like recipe search. I never found one I was happy with. I continue to find the box of blueberry muffin mixes better than all the homemade ones I've tried. So we're gonna try this one. And I use tapioca flour in all of my pie making. So I wanted to restock on my tapioca flour. Okay, I don't have a Trader Joe's in my area and I can never get the everything but the bagel spice blend, but guess what? Thrive Market has their own. So I picked this up and I cannot wait to like be a part of the cool crowd and use the everything but the bagel seasoning. And I got some Thrive Market taco seasoning, seasonings, which my friend Jen says are really delicious, and two of the fajita seasonings. Uh, both of these are organic and very inexpensive. A whole bunch of sauces and fun things. Let's check these out. Okay, I got the Thrive Market organic BBQ sauce. I feel like you can put barbecue sauce on anything and it will make it taste good. Got some balsamic glaze. I saw my friend Jen with this and I was thinking I could make a pizza with this because my sister-in-law made I'm trying to remember exactly what was on it, but it was like tomato and peach and some kind of kale situation with a little bit of balsamic glaze. It was so delicious. So I am planning on putting this as a pizza topper. Got a refill of just some ketchup for my fridge. I have lots of kids, they love ketchup. And I was so impressed with the Wonder Noodles that I got some more of those. These are the gluten-free angel hair noodles. Last few things I have, I wanted to try out the Thrive, oops, the Th Thrive Market uh, pasta sauces. So this is the organic Sicilian gravy, and this one is the organic Tuscan pepper tomato sauces. I wanna see if they compare to the, is it Rayo's pasta sauce, which is very, very good, and these are a little bit cheaper than that. Primal Palette Steak Seasoning. I am a huge fan of pickles, if you didn't know that. I think every sandwich needs a nice pickle on it to make it delicious, so I have this Rick's Picks Classic Sours Pickles. And because I have a few more roasts in my freezer, we are going to make another is it Mississippi Mud Roast with the these pepperoncinis that I picked up. And last but definitely not least is Thrive Market's organic coconut milk is cheaper than my Walmart off-brand of coconut milk. They're really delicious, so I have two more of these to put in my pantry. I hope you guys can't hear that water draining. Sounds weird. Oh, and also I just dropped the coconut milk on my foot and I have a bruise now. But if you wanna try out Thrive Market, they are doing an amazing deal for the new year. It is when you sign up with my link below, 
you get not only a free gift, but you also get 25% off your entire first order. So check out my link below. Tell me what items you want to buy and which out of these look really good to you. So let's jump back over into uh, the organization pieces and the freezer. Okay, I have all my organization buckets. I will link these on Amazon. They come in a ton of different sizes. So please measure your freezer and make sure that they're gonna fit your area. So I have this tall, skinny one like this. These are from M Design, and these shorter ones because I have two levels in my freezer. So let's go check, check this out and see um, how they are working in there. I measured this bottom one, and it's, it is a touch short. Like, it could have gone a few inches taller here. Do I want it to be like that? I'm not sure. But I think this top one is dead on. Actually, that one could go taller too. How weird is that? I had my tape measure and measured these. Oh my gosh, the tall one fits here. How weird. Hmm, maybe I send these back. Maybe I send the short ones back, they're right there. I had, I ordered four. Is it weird to use these tall ones on this tall section? Is that bizarre? I don't know, what do you think? Are they, I don't know. I am so bad at this. Um, if I move, move this piece, okay, well, I can, I just don't know how. Oh, man. Let's get in here and try and undo this. It just slides, right? <laughs> no, it doesn't just slide. This just slides. It looks like it just slides. What the heck? <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm gonna break that. <laughs> Like they don't even fit that way very well. These are stuck together. <laughs> I can't get these off. Why? <sighs> this is so embarrassing. <laughs> Clearly I'm an expert at organization. <laughs> I finally got these in, but I have two problems. Number one is I can't move this. I, I cannot move this stupid piece. I'm really irritated about it. And I wish Dave were here to help me because I can't fit these in in any way where they're not sliding around until this piece is gone and moved but it won't do it i'm like so irritated because these wouldn't separate from each other so i have spent literally the last 30 minutes fighting with these to open these and Haley is still working on the last one because it's not done yet so i feel like i need to take this whole piece out and take out that middle strap this is why I don't like organization projects because nothing works the way that you want it to. And what should have taken 15 minutes, I am now an hour into this and I have done nothing basically. And my ice cream is melting. Oh, I gotta do this. Oh my gosh, it's screwed in. Well, no wonder I couldn't take it out. I hate this freezer. <laughs> Time to get a Phillips head screwdriver. Here we go. No wonder the stupid thing moved. Lefty Lucy, my friends. Haley, would you have guessed that this was screwed in? I would not have guessed that. Ah. Okay. Yep, both sides. Both sides. Now, the real trick is can I put this thing back <laughs> the way that it goes? Screws are out. Stupid containers. <laughs> have been so stuck are still on. stuck <laughs> but like it's like little budges one budge at a time basically wait what the heck you're still not letting go oh my gosh it's your time <laughs> just let go we've tried everything we've tried getting grips on it with mom's um Why gloves is not we've tried hot water to like i don't know why does it hate me <laughs>
very well like that. This is what I have, and they move a little like this. If I did it this way, they'll move, they'll move like this. Um, I don't know, like it doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? It doesn't work that way. Move like this, but then I have like this weird, like is this gonna bother me? With everything in, with the things in it, I don't think they'll slide around that much. You might be right. Okay, let's um see if we can refill these. I wanted to do frozen fruit in one of them. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna end up with like that's it's full now. So I'm a little frustrated by that. Because I have more! Then I have my home frozen tomatoes from my garden. I can literally only fit like three of them in here. Is the point of it that I can't fit very many, so I'm more likely to use them? I'd like to know. Like, I have sausage. Sausage? There's one more. Here's a few more fruit. There's my mom's. This is what my mom's cherries right there. The corner piece. More frozen veggies. These are all clearance items. But maybe if I can see them all up and down, I'll use them better. Here's some more veggies. I can chop spinach. Whoop. Found another snossage right there. And some frozen meals. So I have this beef ragu that I made that's really good. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit because I froze it flat. But it fits there. I have my two bags of meatballs I made. Those can go in. Taco meat and more taco meat. Maybe I'll stick it there. So this is like drawer one. Does that even look like it makes sense at all. I feel like I can fit way less stuff in it like this. However, I can see it a lot better. And I think I'm gonna throw my egg roll wrappers in this little spot here, because they'll help things from sliding around. Here is the top piece. There it goes, like that. Ice maker, yes. What's interesting is I can fit that, like this. And it closes just fine. But I only have the one, left so I don't know where it goes maybe it goes there I have no idea I don't know these are all the things I have left there's not much and honestly I think I'm gonna leave out the Rhodes rolls to make for dinner tonight and I'm gonna stick these in the fridge for lunch tomorrow so these don't have to go back in did some of these beef pieces in here. Is that, nope, nope, nope. Those straight up do not fit. That's not gonna work. Hamburger, maybe? That, okay, hamburger works. There we go. And I do have one beef flank that looks like that fits. So what if I took, I slid that back, and put the rest of the meat right in front just so I can see them, you know what I mean? And this is my mom's uh, sausage. That's all meat. Okay, last few things, I have some cooked pinto beans. Yes, you can cook these and freeze them completely cooked and then get them out later. A Couple of bananas for banana bread. Those should probably go in the fruit down here, right? Like that. This is ground turkey. And I do have some daily harvest items which take up a lot of freezer room. I did a video on this a while ago. They've never sponsored me or anything. If you wanna go check out that video, you can, I'll leave it below. Um, and if you wanna try out Daily Harvest, they are super expensive, but I do have a $25 off code below. If that interests you at all, some yeast, uh, yeast in the freezer lasts for years. So stick that right there. And I do have some fresh bay leaves. Stick those in. I think I'm done and I think I can close this. Okay, so I have the one package here and I can see everything, which is amazing. So let's slide that. And here's everything in the bottom section. So I have frozen fruit along here, freezer meals in this section, and then like frozen veggies, home tomatoes, and sausage. So let's see if we can close this. Oh my goodness. And that is going somewhere else because I'm not using it. That was way harder than I thought it was gonna be and did not go smoothly. And my storage containers ended up not even being the size I wanted. So 
I looked everywhere for really tall ones and these were the tallest the tallest ones I could find So I feel like I'm gonna go and search some more and if I end up switching them out I can use these in other places in my house for storage bathrooms pantry under the sink over here all kinds of things So it's not like they're gonna go to waste and if you want to try out thrive market They are doing such an awesome deal for you right now. Use my link down below free gift and 25% off your first order. Hello. <laughs> it just helps you get started in the new year with a lot of savings. Don't forget to check out all of the other home organization videos in that playlist I talked about. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.